Already spotted the electric scooters among the hustle and bustle of the city traffic. Hard to miss, and it's only the beginning. They're around, and they're here for a while, at least until a pilot program wraps up at the end of the year. Our Casey Cronus live from a historic Third Ward with some of the do's and some of the do-nots of riding these e-scooters. Casey? Well, Ted and Mary, with anything new comes a learning curve, and electric scooters are no exception. Lime is the first company to participate in this pilot, with others like Spin and Bird in the wings. Now, for some, they're saying these electric scooters are a hit, while others aren't so sure. It's been one week since e-scooters have been darting through Milwaukee streets. As part of the city's dockless scooter pilot program. They're being pretty well utilized. Still working out the kinks. We have received some complaints. Mike Amston with the city says most of those complaints revolve around people riding scooters on sidewalks, which at this time is illegal. Someone on a scooter should be behaving generally how you would on a bicycle. Andy Nisnansky is learning that the hard way. I thought it'd be just a stroke of a pen and insurance takes care of it. And apparently it's a little more involved. The self proclaimed king of Uber tells us his van was struck by an e scooter Saturday while parked near Uptown on Brady Street. You can see they're out of control, and they're either going to fall that way into people or into his car. And while the damage might look minimal, the cost is not. He says the repair estimate is more than $1,200. For others, taking an e-scooter is proving to be cost effective. I mean, it's a quick, cheap way to get from one point to another. Riding from the third ward to Walker's Point, Brady Bauer says he's excited e-scooters have landed in the cream city. I think it's great whenever you can give people different modes of transportation. Something even the king agrees with. People got to have fun. It's a fun city. Now, while it's not required, Line is urging customers to wear a helmet, give the scooter a once over, and check that the brake is working before riding it. Meantime, a spokeswoman with the Milwaukee Police Department tells us so far no citations or arrests have been issued in connection with these electric scooters. Reporting live in the third ward, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. And stay off the sidewalk, which not everyone is doing, clearly. All right, Casey, Correct. thanks. <laughs> As we